Well, who knows what skills like this we'll be teaching our children. Let's begin. Now, like many of you, I actually look back on my school days with a lot of fond memories. And admittedly, there were a few bad ones too, but then, you know, that's life, isn't it? It's not all roses. And in fact, I remember when I was told, school days are the best days of your life. I then looked at my mountain of homework and thought, what a load of crap. Although compared to the responsibilities of adult life, which obviously children don't have to worry about, do they? I guess what I was told was right, especially as my hardest decision back then was whether to play a computer game or go around my mate's house. And not forgetting, of course, the often lethal football games in the school playground. But unfortunately, if this story from the Daily Star is anything to go by, then today's children won't be so lucky. Because one school wants an outright ban on kids giving each other a high five, hugging, and in fact, they wouldn't even be allowed to shake hands. So gone will be the days of celebrating a football goal with your mates, giving your friend a high five for getting a question right in class, or even introducing yourself to a possible new friend with the traditional handshake. It just makes me wonder what they'll actually want to do in the future. Maybe something like this. Right, what's your name? Timmy, sir. Well, Timmy, you'll leave your name at the school gates, and during the day, you'll be referred to by the following number. 76543 Memorise it! Next! The article also says that parents of students at Mosley Hollins High School were told in a recent newsletter that to improve the positive school culture, pupils were banned from any physical contact. And the rule was introduced for a number of reasons, the school says, including to ensure that students feel safe in school and have a supportive environment in and outside of lessons. But the strict new rule has been described as harsh and robotic by some parents. Which, to be honest, I personally agree with those parents here. I mean, for starters, how is it even going to be policed? Will they employ an army of dinner ladies looking out for any playground high-fiving going on? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? And I'm guessing the school thinks that by doing this, they could probably put an end to something like bullying. But unfortunately, the sad reality is that if someone actually wants to be a bully, then this rule probably won't stop them, because I'm sure there's probably rules against bullies and things like that anyway, isn't there? And what damage could this cause to a child's personal personal development into adulthood, if they're kind of being restricted from socialising or bonding with their mates in a traditional sense, unless they manage to sneak in a risky high five every now and then. Also, thinking about it, if they've been brought up this way throughout the whole of their high school, they might not realise that something like shaking hands in a job interview, for, for example, is a polite thing to do. It tends to be seen as common courtesy, doesn't it? And by not doing that, they could probably end up being seen as rude or may even get the employer's back up before the interview even starts. But can you imagine if something like this ends up being rolled out everywhere? Then, you know, who knows, maybe in 10 or 15 years' time, all children throughout the UK might not even realise this. But where it could actually get quite dangerous is if all schools follow the one in this video, because they put something unthinkable above their students' health. Anyway, subscribe, stay updated, and I'll see you in the next one.